Hey guys, this is Carson Miller Tech here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the gear and tech that goes into making all of my videos. So I just want to say now, before getting into all the rest of this video, that there is a lot of things that I'm going to be showing you in this video, so if you want to see a full list of everything, or you want to purchase anything that I show in this video yourself, I'll be linking all those below in the description, so check that out if you want to see those. So on to the first bit of tech. So actually, the first bit of tech has to do with the uh, behind-the-scenes camera. So. As you can see here, I use a tripod to shoot all my videos, obviously. So the tripod that I use, this is the Magnus VT300 tripod. I think it was like $85 on Amazon. It is a fluid head tripod and it works really, really well. Like you can go left to right movement, you have up and down movement, and you even have vertical movement if you unscrew this right here. And you can even control the the speed that it goes down that way too if you really wanted to. So you can get some really awesome shots with this. I get a lot of my product shots with this because of the fluid head, which is really nice. The next thing that you'll see on this obviously is the camera itself. So I shoot on the Panasonic G7 in 4K. So if you want to see a little bit more about this camera, I'll be linking a video up there. But this camera, honestly, it has worked really, really well since I got it. I'm using the 14 to 42 millimeter lens on it, so they're just the stock lens. And I use this for vlogging and shooting all my videos, but one terrible thing about it is the audio. The audio honestly sounds terrible. So for audio, I actually use two different types of microphones. I have a lav mic, which this is from Purple Panda. It's $20, and I'll be leaving a video about that up there. But it was $20 on Amazon, so it's really cheap, and it sounds really, really good. It still blows me away to this day how well it sounds. So the second microphone that I actually have is the Rode Video Micro. Now I use this mainly for vlogging. And so when I'm vlogging, my setup typically looks a little bit like this. I use the Rode Video Micro, and a lot of the times I actually use my iPhone 6S. If many people don't know this, before I got my Panasonic G7, I actually used my iPhone 6S and an iPhone 7 to shoot everything on my channel pretty much. Back to like my third video, everything before that was shot on a 1080p Canon camera, but and then everything past that was shot on an iPhone 6S, which honestly looks amazing, and the 4K looks really good. The audio is not the greatest, so uh, that's one thing. But I also used the audio of the iPhone 6S for all my videos until I got the Rode Video Micro. So honestly, as you can see, what I'm getting at is the iPhone 6S is a really good camera to shoot videos on. If you're a beginner, YouTuber, it's definitely a very good thing to use or really any phone that you have. So as you can see, my vlogging camera, which is my iPhone 6S at the time, or I sometimes vlog with my Panasonic G7. There's actually a vlog up there that I shot on the G7, but what I use to carry around that camera when I'm actually vlogging is the Joby tripod. Now this is the, this is the standard uh, vlogger tripod. If you don't know about this already, then you probably haven't really watched any vloggers on YouTube. It's really nice because you can bend it really around anything and you're able to bend the leg, Casey Neistat style. He was the first one to come up with this. And you can hold your camera like this and it makes for a great vlogging experience. So that is all for vlogging equipment. Now when I shoot my other videos that aren't vlogs, I like to include some drone shots a lot of the time. So I fly the DJI Phantom 3 standard and honestly it shoots really well. It shoots in 2.7K, so not full 4K, which I really like, but I'm planning on getting the Mavic soon, so I'll be updating this video probably, probably a while in the future, but someday I'll probably have the Mavic. So I'll have full 4K on all my cameras, but right now I just upscaled the 2.7K in post when I'm actually exporting the full video from Final Cut Pro because it's in 4K, so I mean, it just exports that way. So another thing about this drone, the props that I actually have on here, these are not the standard, standard props. Ha, see what I did there? These are actually the propellers that are meant for the DJI Phantom 3 Professional. You can purchase these on Amazon. They're like five dollars more than the regular standard propellers so i mean i don't know if you want to buy them or not they're honestly exactly the same as the dji phantom 3 standard propellers it's just that they've got these gold tips on them so i just like the way that that looks a little bit better than the plain dji phantom 3 standard propellers but that is it for all my filming equipment. So now we've gotten to this point in the video, you're probably wondering, well, how do you edit and store and manage all the videos and everything that you take? So now I'm gonna be getting into the second part of this video, which is actually how I put together all my videos. So yeah, let's get into that part of the video. So uh, the fidget spinners that I had in the uh, thumbnail, that was just a bit of clickbait. So if you saw that part, um, yeah, here's me using a fidget spinner. There you go. 
I actually really hate these things, but anyways. So to edit all my videos, I use the mid-2015 15-inch MacBook Pro. Now this is the base model, and it honestly does me pretty well when editing on it. I use Final Cut Pro for editing, and that is my editor of choice. I have tried Premiere, but it's just not my thing. So I edit on this, but to actually edit my videos on, I drop all of my videos onto the Samsung T3 250 gigabyte SSD, and this thing is super fast, like almost as fast as the internal storage. Just kidding, not that fast. But it is very, very fast, and it works great for editing. So I just plug this thing into my computer, and look at this, here's a little life hack for you. Put a bit of Velcro on the back of your computer, and on the back of your drive, and look at that. You can Velcro it onto your computer, and look at that, freedom of movement, and you don't have to have a dangling SSD or something from your computer, so it's actually pretty strong. That was just a command strip with Velcro on it that I put there, but honestly works great, and so that is how I edit my videos. But for long-term storage, I archive all of my videos, drone videos, all of my edits, and everything, really. So to store that on, I store them on the WD MyBook. This is the four terabyte version. And it's also the non-portable version, sadly. I don't really need the portability of it. I just drop all my old videos and stuff on here after about a month because that's how long it takes for the SSD to fill up. So I just drop everything on here and it hasn't let me down to this point. It's been just working constantly and it works great. So one final piece of tech that I use to film all my videos is when I'm editing, I actually use the Apple EarPods to edit on. Now, many people are probably gonna be like, why do you use that? Why, why don't you get better headphones that cover your ears and have more flat sound. Well, honestly, for the videos that I make, I don't need super accurate sound. Like these things work fine enough and they, I just really enjoy the sound of them and I listen to music on them and all that stuff. So, so you can criticize me all you want, but I honestly, these things sound fine enough to me. Plus I don't want to drop like 50 to a hundred dollars, maybe even more for another pair of over the ear headphones. So yeah. So anyways guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you'd like to suggest future videos for me, make sure to leave those down in the comments below and let me know what you thought about this video down in the comments as well. If you haven't already, make sure to click that big circle below to subscribe. And if you'd like to check out my last video, that should be up there and some random video should be down there. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next video. Peace.